Hey everyone, I got my pop here, regular Diet Cola, so you guys know what time it is, it's time for Pit Stop with Coaster Carl. Alright, so I got some vehicles here, um, there's one of them that I'm going to talk a little bit about, and uh, um, there's only three vehicles and then we'll get to some kind of discussion, so, um, first thing I got is the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. Hey Sheer, do you got this one? I bet you probably do. So, yeah. I love this car. Um, this is, this is a really awesome car. Um, then I got this Honda Racer, which I've had for quite a while. I just haven't been able to review it yet. So, uh, sorry if my hair's all sticking up. I just got out of the shower. So, there's that. How awesome is that, guys? I just love this car. So, all right, next vehicle I want to go and talk about. I am looking for somebody to potentially, um, I mean, if it costs me, it costs me, and hopefully it doesn't cost me too much because I don't really have that much money right now. Um, I would really like to see, uh, real riders on this. Um, if somebody, uh, if somebody can get back with me and let me know if they can, uh, customize this with the real riders, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, the, uh, MX... B Hero Rescue Series and it is the Ford Superlift F350. I would love this to have real riders on it. Um, that's just something that I, I would just love to see on this truck. So, um, if somebody could get back with me and let me know if they could possibly do this custom for me. Um, just with the, um, real rider wheels. I mean, just pick whichever ones you think would, uh, work with this, you know. I mean, I'd be happy to send it to you or whatever you want me to do. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, that would mean so much to me. Alright, now. Let's talk about some of the people that like to go to the um oh uh, what is that called brain fart yes I'm having a brain fart ha 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 <laughs> um let's talk about these people that like to go to flea markets I think you can find a lot of good things at flea markets you know especially when it comes to hot wheels and when it comes to um, finding things in general. I love going to flea markets. Not really sure where there's one around here. We don't really have many flea markets around here. Um, it would be nice. Um, but I think it's something that's probably more a little bit out in the country somewhere. Um, because I'd be able to find a lot of old stuff. So hopefully, uh, I can talk to a couple people in my family and see if they know if there's any flea markets where I can go to. Um, the closest, well, the closest thing we have to a flea market around here, which is not, or I guess you should say a farmer's market. It's not really, um, a flea market. Never mind. So... Um, I've watched a lot of these people's videos, like, uh, P, uh, like PJ and all that stuff, uh, going to flea markets and looking at their, uh, cars that they have, and I've been really impressed. Um, I like a lot of the older stuff, too, you know, that 
Mattel came out with back in the day and you know I would just love to be able to find some of that stuff um I wasn't able to text my stepdad today but um Uh, I do know that I would like to be able to oh, I got something on my lens there um, I do know that uh, I'd like to be able to find uh, a Nova for him I gotta get the year um, I'll let you guys know what year Nova he wants so um, but I mean yeah I think flea markets are a great place to find Hot Wheels you know, they may, they may not be brand spanking new, but you know what? Who cares? They're Hot Wheels. Matchbox. Whatever, you know. Very, very good place to find that stuff. Um, another good place that I found that's got kind of like little miniature flea markets or fairs. Uh... I've been to a couple fairs where I've seen people selling their Hot Wheels. And you'd be surprised, you know, in a lot of events and stuff. And, I mean, in festivals and stuff like that. I mean, if, if you just get out there and look, I can guarantee you, you'll find one fair or one festival where somebody is selling Hot Wheels. You know, I mean, they may be loose out of the package, and they may be, um, you know, they may be in the package, but, you know, it, it's no big deal, because you can get what you get, you know. Um, and some of us may be a little picky, but, you know, that's okay, too. Um, one thing I'm going to have to tell you, which a lot of you probably already know, but for those people who are going to, like, subscribe down to my channel down in the future, is you gotta know how to price negotiate. Um, there may be a couple, um, I don't know, there may be a couple of, uh, things. Ooh, cross rockets just went past. Awesome. I'm sure you guys heard that. Sorry, that's why I went quiet there for a minute. But I mean, the reason why you got to price negotiate is because you're not going to want to get this one for like three bucks. You know, I mean, you got to pr price negotiate maybe down to like maybe a dollar fifty or something. You're not going to want to go, you're not going to want to get that for three bucks because that's just a ripoff. Because you can go and get that at Meyer or Walmart for. I don't know, like, 99 cents. So, um, yes, I am very tired today. I did not get to sleep in much today, um, because this is my day off. Eh, whatever. Um, Sorry, I like crunching on ice. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've been to. Oh, I went to this, um, I've been to this, um, festival we have here. It's in a little town called Vermontville. And they have, the, they have this, uh, maple syrup festival every year. I have been to that so many times and I have seen a lot of people out there selling Hot Wheels some of them are in the package some of them are not in the package it, it, it all depends so I mean if they have something that's in really really good condition that um, that is out of the package buy it but make sure they have something to wrap your car in because I've had it happen where I've bought something 
and I didn't wrap it and then I ended up dropping it and there goes the nice paint job on the car so you know um, I'm not going to talk too much about this I am really trying to uh, Oh, how do I explain this? I'm really trying to get the hang of Instagram. I know nothing about Instagram. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get with some kind of personal tutor or something that knows how to use Instagram. I, I mean, I just put my Instagram page up today. Um, there's nothing on it because I don't know how to use it. Um, the only thing that's on it is my... Um, my username which my username is coaster carl 1984 on instagram so i mean i don't know much about that stuff i mean all i know is how to do youtube well i don't know how to do youtube fully but i think i'm doing a pretty darn good job um i don't know how to do no, I, and I know how to do Facebook. Other than that, Twitter. No, I have a Twitter account, but that that Twitter just frustrates the heck out of me. So I don't use Twitter. Um, and I'm thinking that may be the same way with Instagram, but we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I don't know how to use it. So what's the point of talking about it if I don't have to use it? Or I mean, if I don't know how to use it, I'm sorry. So my plan is for Friday, because I have Friday off um, this week because of some kind of in-service thing they're having at work. So my plan Friday is to hit up a Walmart and see what they have and then I'm planning on going over to one of the other Myers here in town and seeing what they have and then Saturday I plan on going to Toys R Us and seeing what they have I like going to Toys R Us but the only problem is we used to okay let me explain to you what happened our Toys R Us, or the, I should say the Toys R Us I always went to, um, got converted into a Babies R Us. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? So now I, and you know, I'm not complaining. It's just, it really annoys me. But now I have to take, get on the bus. I have to go clear across to the other side of town. Uh, and then... That's where I find Toys R Us. So I have to take like three buses to get to Toys R Us. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and then when I get out, get, then when I get off the bus, I have to walk through the mall, and then I have to go through um. Then I have to go through the mall parking lot. Then I have to cross the road. And walk down about a half of... Two and a half blocks. And then boom, I'm at Toys R Us. So, that's why I don't go there very often. And the last time I went to Toys R Us, I thought it was kind of ridiculous that they charged it ten for their Hot Wheels. Once again, that's why I don't go to Toys R Us very often. But, you know, if you really die hard and trying to find something like me that's what you do so you know um hopefully I'm able to find some of the uh those um matchbox uh the best of matchbox series I hope I find a couple of those um and I know the one really hard one to find at the moment is the uh, BMW. But I'm sure I'll be able to find that. Man, I just love hearing all those crotch rockets go past today. 
really beautiful day to ride a bike, you know, like a motorcycle and a regular bicycle, uh, you know, so, other than that, um, haven't been able to find any more treasure hunts, haven't been able to find any, any supers. However, I gotta tell you something, and I may have mentioned this yesterday, but what in the world's going on with the Kroger? I go to one Kroger, okay. We have about three Krogers where I live. Okay, three. In the city of Lansing, we have three Krogers. Actually, I think we have four. I just haven't been able to get to look at look at the other Kroger yet. But we had 10 for 10 on Hot Wheels this week at Kroger. And so I go to one Kroger and I hear this announcement over the PA. Attention Kroger shoppers, we are going to be closing temporarily. And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? So I'm already at the, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm already at the display. They had two displays full of Hot Wheels. You know the ones that are kind of like the cubby holes that are freestanding. And they come over the PA with that, and I wasn't even done looking yet. I'm like, hello, can I at least try to find a super? And obviously not, because, yeah. I, I don't know what was going on, but it didn't make me very happy. Um, I don't really like to be interrupted while I'm hunting, and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't either. Because when you get... Um, When you get uh, distracted when you're Hot Wheels hunting, it, it really throws you off, and that makes me mad because it's like, why should you have somebody interrupt you while you're doing that? Um, it's not right. You should be able to do that because you have to pay attention. <laughs> I mean, you can't just sit there looking around the whole store like, oh, hi, how are you? And you can't do that. You know, that's one thing that I've learned. I, I personally, I get distracted easy. So, you know, but. If you guys, uh, if you guys could leave a comment down below or email me at cjgans at gmail.com, which my email is always, always down below. Um, email me and let me know if you're able to do the customization on this by putting those wheels on there. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I am going to cut this video off now. And I thank you for liking and subscribing to my videos. And for those of you who aren't subscribed and who haven't liked my videos, make sure you like and subscribe to my videos down below. And... Thank you very much. Um, this is Coaster Carl signing off. Keep it coasting.